What's up you guys? Today's video, it is my refrigerator organization video. So I'm gonna show you guys the entire setup while also showing you guys some really cool products that not only organize and make things easy to access and beautiful to look at, but also can prolong and extend the life of some of your grocery items. And a lot of today's items are from today's sponsor, Zoo Lily. If you've never shopped Zoo Lily, it is so addicting. They have so many different categories from clothes to shoes, beauty, home, baby, kids, tech, books, a little bit of everything, all at really great prices. There are new sales events that drop every single day. They feel like really curated collections or you can shop their evergreen shops. Of course, my favorite is the organization shop where you can shop your favorite categories all year round. They use helpful icons like the rocket ship to tell you if an item is gonna be quick ship. And right now they have a gift box to tell you if it's gonna make it to Christmas. Last but not least, if something's out of stock, I always add it to my wish list because they let me know whenever it comes back in stock and I could quickly add it to cart. I'll include all the details details down below. Love you guys so much and on that note, let's get started. So this is the before state of our refrigerator. It's definitely taller than past fridges that we've owned. The first thing we did was take everything out of the fridge. Got rid of anything that was expired, got a good inventory of what we owned, and then we moved everything downstairs to the basement refrigerator so that we can keep things cold as we worked. Next step was to clean the fridge itself. We took out all the bins, the shelves, washed everything with soapy water, gave everything a really good wipe down. It felt like a brand new canvas to start working. Then for the fun stuff, getting all of the clear plastic storage containers, trays, and bins. I love Zulily because they have some of my favorite brands like OXO, iDesign, Progressive for really good prices, and I end up finding a lot of other useful stuff through their curated shop. So here I'm removing all the stickers, giving everything a good wash down, and then I start kind of planning the different zones within the fridge. I just went grocery shopping, so I'm just trying to make sure everything fits and has a really good flow. So now it's time to prep and place all of the groceries into the respective containers. So the Oxo Green Savers are really cool because there's a vent on the top so you can control the humidity level. There's a little cheat sheet on the back so here with the mushrooms we want to keep the vent closed. And these also come with a carbon filter to help soak up the ethylene gas. So for my carrots, celery, and lettuce, I'm using the Progressive Produce Keepers. I feel like these are great for high volume vegetables. These don't have a carbon filter, but the same concept with the airflow vents. To help with circulation, there's a handy dandy guide in the front to tell you how to treat each particular vegetable or fruit. And they also serve as a colander in and of itself, just like the Oxo Green Savers.
So for smaller veggies and fruits and like quick access items, I love these bins that have dividers in them because you can customize the size of each section and it's almost like a beautiful display tray. Like you can have your salsa and your hummus and pick at all the veggies like a little party tray. And then for the other one, I did my quick access like fruits, like lemons, limes, and then ginger, um, which I love to cook with. Okay, so I love these. These are the Progressive Deli Pro Keepers. These provide such great storage for cheese, deli meats, bacon. It has an airtight seal. The clear top makes it super visible and there's even a space for you to jot down the date. Trays are really great for any tight spaces where you don't have that much height. There's still a high enough lip around the tray to keep things corralled together, but it just makes it easier to grab and you don't actually have to take the bin out to access the items inside. I'll show you guys in a little bit when I place this in the fridge. So now that we have all our bins loaded up, let's go ahead and do the final fun step, loading the actual refrigerator. On the bottom shelf, I try to keep the things that need to stay really cold and temperature stable. So I put my dairy products here. I've got my milk, my creamer. This was a fabulous tip that I saw off of Vassar Beauty's channel. If you haven't checked her out, she is amazing. So I have those lined up right here. And then to the right, I have my divided protein bins. I have the section with the bread and the tofu. And then my larger divider that has the chicken, patties, and the ground beef. My second shelf is shorter, so here I have my breakfast duo, eggs and bacon that nestle like quite nicely together. I have my shallow trays, I've got my juice shots here in a perfect narrow row. I then have Clark's baby food. I do a mixture of yummy and homemade food, so the ones I'm using for the day, I place it right here. And then I have this tray of miscellaneous short wide jars. So miso, kimchi, salsa. This is like my nice space where I can still reach all the items easily and remove them without actually having to remove the trays, which is why it's so great to have shallow trays with a shorter height. Third shelf was a taller shelf. I wanted to keep all like the bulky produce items. I have my two berry bins stacked vertically, my square bin of protein snacks. I've got my large produce keeper with romaine, my shorter produce keeper with carrots and celery. And then I have my duo of the trio divider bins that stack nicely on top of each other. Next shelf I like to call Snack Alley. We got all of our narrow bins with handles displaying all of our snacks from hummus, yogurt, applesauce, chia seed, and also our wider divided bin full of hard boiled eggs. 
and our top shelf is reserved for leftovers or takeout. Anything big and bulky could be thrown up here. I also like to keep any pre-made meals. I've got like two big things of ravioli. We got some cinnamon roll dough. I love storing my food in the OXO glass storage containers. We've used them for years. We love them. I've also got this really cute Chili Mama baking soda holder. Inside you can put some baking soda to help absorb the odors and keep your fridge smelling fresh. She's just so cute up there guarding the fridge. <laughs> For the drawers, I have the smaller one as our deli drawer. It's nestled right underneath the bread. I have our deli pro keeper for our sandwich meats. I have our cheeses, whether it's shredded, sliced, or block. And then I also store our tortillas here just because they're nice and flat and they nestle really great in this drawer. Second drawer, I set this mode to produce because I'm going to put fruit here. Here I use a long narrow bin that was like the perfect size from front to back to put our cuties, oranges. Then I have a large divider bin in the center to separate our apple pears from our apples. And then I also stored the grapes here off to the side. And I also secured a carbon filter off to the side of the drawer to help absorb the ethylene gas to keep all the fruits here fresher longer. Then the final drawer is our veggie drawer. Here I have those mushrooms, the bok choy, I have some packaged beets, and then also my green onions. Finish it off with the same carbon filter with the suction cups onto the side. Moving on to the door bins, on the bottom shelf I have the tallest space. Here I have our containers of nuts and then also our dual herb keepers that have our parsley and asparagus. Our second shelf I like to call like our sweet shelf. We've got sweet breakfasty types of things. We've got butter, we've got jam, we've got maple syrup and I love this butter keeper you guys. It is an airtight seal container. You can do American or European style butters. You can put two sticks in there, one big old thing of cream cheese. You have measurement dashes on each side so you know how much to cut off, especially if you're baking or cooking. So I love this so much. I also got this off Zoo Lily. Third level is our condiment shelf. We've got our mayos, mustards, uh, a lone apple cider vinegar, anything that is sandwich related, we like to keep it here. And our final shelf has like tall jars and bottles, things like dressings to cooking items, soy sauce, hot sauce, rice vinegar, fish sauce. We just throw it all up here because it has the vertical space to accommodate. And here is the final result of the refrigerator. And for our freezer, similar process. We took everything out, stored it away while we cleaned everything up, and then I kind of just did simpler organization by just stacking things that could sit nicely into towers. I use a couple of clear plastic bins to store smaller items together, tucked boxier things into the side shelves and the door, and then a lot of the things that we have in here are actually a bunch of these ice-looking trays. These are one of our favorite ways to just freeze things on the go, especially especially all of my homemade baby food for Clark. These are so great for pre-freezing, portion out soups, sauces, stews, broths for yourself or for your baby. I've tried several different brands, but by far my favorite one has been from the ones from Zoo Lily. They are the easiest to dislodge the actual cubes themselves. I've got a mixture of like chicken stew and fruit and vegetables for Clark. I've got oatmeal for us. This is like one way I got through postpartum by making a bunch of these pre-made things for myself so that when I was super tired I could just microwave it and eat immediately. So here I am stowing away all these different cubes into reusable silicone bags. As you can see having the wider bottom really expands the volume that you can hold in there and I just kind of stack them within the drawers. On the very bottom drawer of my freezer I've got all my miscellaneous bags for frozen vegetables, meat and fries and then on the very top I kind of keep this a little bit naked just so any Anything that's incoming, I've got a space ready for it. So 
All right, you guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my refrigerator organization. Again, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description box. Be sure to give your girl a thumbs up if you enjoyed this organizational video and would like more in the future. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!